Hello, welcome to the second Kit Plus News Roundup of 2022, brought to you with the supporter Media Proxy. Thankfully, things are beginning to happen this year and the news is flowing thick and fast again. So, first off, Pebble have announced the appointment of Besco as its channel partner in Korea. And if you're interested, Korea does appear on our YouTube analytics channel at number 14. Some viewers out there. The partnership has seen Pebble and Besco implementing one of the most advanced and complex playout technologies in the Korean market. Combining Pebble's world-class automation, integrated channel and Pebble remote solutions. Marshall Electronics has taken ease of use to the next level with the unveiling of its USB-based CV605-U3 PTZ camera with USB-C, IP and HDMI connectivity. The camera offers flexible output options for USB-C and IP for video conference, collaboration and streaming. HDMI opens up a wide range of options with HDMI monitoring or switching workflows and IP provides an easy one cable to camera setup and operation. Blackmagic Design's DaVinci Resolve was used throughout the digital intermediate, the DI pipeline, on 20th Century Studios' new action film and third in the Kingsman spy series, The King's Man. While the bulk of the film's drama is treated in a more restrained style, its action sequences recall the kinetic energy of the franchise. For these sequences, a whole range of small camera bodies were tested, settling on the Pocket Cinema Camera 6K and Blackmagic Micro Studio Camera 4K. So now you've no doubt heard the term blockchain, but what does it mean? This week, Mr. MXF has a look at how it works and why. About 600 years ago, battle-hardened accountants invented double-entry bookkeeping. The idea is pretty simple. Every business transaction involves two parts. For example, money goes out, and chocolate supplies come in. A book or a ledger keeps the same value in two different columns and you can come back later and check that everything in the book balances. That's hard to get wrong and hard, but not impossible to cheat. The late Yuji Ijiri, professor at Carnegie Mellon University, introduced the concept of triple entry bookkeeping back in the late 1970s. The third entry is used to track every transaction between books and one use of this third column is to prevent the movie world financial fraud trope of the official books as seen by the tax office and the real books as used by the gangsters. Basically, every transaction in the books additionally has this third column kept in a third or a fourth or a fifth book and it hashes together all the details of the records of each transaction made. This kind of seals the book forever. And the more copies of that third column that are held by independent people, the more robust the system becomes. So blockchain is an implementation of triple entry bookkeeping where the books are replaced with both data records and checksums or message digests or hashes and physical signatures are replaced with cryptographic signatures. The comments column in the digital ledger can additionally contain executable code to enable smart contracts and other funky features. For efficiency, blocks of new transactions are grouped together and they're assigned a hash that includes a link back to the most recently finalized book. And this gives a kind of continuous chain of transaction blocks that, in theory, cannot be hacked. Blockchain is just secure bookkeeping with cryptography. There you go, simple as that. Thanks, Mr. MXF. And next week, he'll be looking at non-fungible tokens. So now on with the news, our Moses Engineering has announced the availability of its groundbreaking G30 gyro stabilized head. The unique design has been refined using extensive real world experience resulting in a stabilized head that has the performance of much more expensive systems, but with the usability and ease of setup of much simpler gimbal devices. We spoke to Mike Grieve of Moses um, on this topic recently, and you'll find that interview in the season five playlist on our channel. CA so yeah, Global Partners, together with Hickman Shearer, have announced they will conduct a live and online auction of a selection of over 3,000 pieces of high quality and well-maintained outside broadcast and TV production equipment on behalf of Kroll LLP, the administrators of Arena Television Limited, the assets which include outside broadcast trailers and rigid trucks, Sony and Grass Valley camera channels, Canon and Fujinon lenses, EVS, Sound and vision equipment, etc., will all be sold through an online auction and on site auction over a three day period beginning on the 22nd of February 2022. Do also take a look at the interview we did with Hickman Shearer MD Tim Chapman, where we looked into the demise of Arena TV. 
Yeah, with uh, over 3,000 items in that auction. We're going to be doing more interviews surrounding uh, Arena TV in the coming weeks, so do check out, uh, do look out for those. ATEM have announced that Canal Plus has launched one of the world's first deployments of OTT low latency streaming on Apple TV 4K, thanks to ATEM's NEA solution. The project enables Canal Plus subscribers to watch sports events via HD and UHD low latency streaming through the My Canal applications with almost no delay compared to broadcast delivery. It's available to any user via HLS compatible Apple TV 4K iPad and iPhone devices. Plant Technologies announces the CrewCom version 1.10 update. The latest CrewCom firmware and software update adds two new major features as well as several enhancements to its already long list of capabilities. Topping the list is the addition of a new high density mode, which is a selectable mode of operation that allows user densities to increase by more than fivefold. When implemented, this new software selectable mode supports up to 32 radio packs on a single radio transceiver, whilst allowing many of the RPs to communicate using four available full duplex talk paths. And now some show news. ISC, Integrated Systems Europe, has announced that ISC 2022, which was originally scheduled for 1st to 4th of February this year, will now take place on the 10th to 13th of May 2022 in Barcelona. Of course, London's very own MPTS is scheduled for the same week, that's 11th and 12th of May. So some of us may have some decisions to make, whether we're in the business of broadcast or the world of AV, large events and systems integration, or like many these days, um, in both camps. Yes, of course. So Pixel Power has been contracted to deliver an end-to-end -end ingest storage and playout solution to NHK Cosmo Media Europe, NCME. The broadcaster is implementing a new workflow comprising Gallium Automation, Streammaster Ingest and Master Control Playout, and Spicer Node Intelligent Media Storage. The new playout operation replaces previously outsourced playout service and supports its two channels, JSTV1 HD and JSTV2 HD, via satellite and OTT distributions. Now, benefiting from common synergies, Gunterman & Drunk, uh, GND, and Tritech Electronic have signed an agreement to form a new technology group, which will strengthen the portfolio of the group by complementing the product offering of GND, um, who are a leading provider of high-performance KVM uh, solutions with Tritech's display management skills and expertise in the medical sector. The transaction is backed by Naxicap Partners, who are GND's current sponsor. Playbox Technology has provided a comprehensive broadcast playout platform to 3K TV, one of six newly licensed commercial television operators in Zimbabwe. Now, 3K TV turned to Playbox to get the station on air as quickly as possible. The Zimbabwe government moved to add new television services in competition with state broadcaster ZBC in November 2020. The successful applicants have just 18 months from award of the contract to get the new channels on air. 3K TV will be news-led, but will offer a broad range of other content as well. And PBT EU kickstarts 2022 with a brand new release of Subtitle Next version 5.11. And that further equips subtitling, captioning and localization specialists with an array of stunning innovative tool sets at their fingertips. The popular and affordable Subtitle Next software platform is used for captioning live events and offline content in real time and is being embraced by a growing number of industry professionals around the globe. Broadcast Bix is announcing a major new feature-rich software release for its entire range of powerful, yet easy to use, of course, integrated production systems. Version 9 software is now available on all new Broadcast Bix systems and as a free download to all users with a current support contract. Apart from the usual bug fixes and minor enhancements, the version 9 release includes some significant new features as well that will benefit all production environments. So that's it for the news this week. Thank you if you've contributed, and don't forget you can add your own news to kitplus.com. And thanks as always to Media Proxy for their support. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.